Hello, my name is Emily, as you may or may not know, and today we are going to be talking about TikTok and how it has affected people's self-confidence and self-perception. First, it was Instagram and Tumblr making people feel like ugly pieces of shit. And now, TikTok newcomer, all-star rookie, has come into the picture, and let me say, are they taking the gold, okay? And you know, I'm sure people have had issues with self-confidence even before social media, all right? I'm sure that maybe there were even cavemen that were like, Wow, he fills that loincloth a lot better than me. However, as we all know, social media has taken everybody's baseline self-confidence issues and given it a five-hour energy and steroids. There is so much more access to see all the beautiful people in the world and have them push to the forefront of our screens, uh, the latest medium for this being TikTok. When you are constantly seeing these beautiful, handsome, just absolutely gorgine specimens who look like they were created by an AI, I mean, it's kind of hard not to compare yourself. I'll admit that when I see these beautiful women on TikTok with their perfect faces and amazing bodies, you know, of course my initial thought is something along the lines of like, nice. nice. But if I think too hard about it, I will get slightly insecure. And I'm a pretty confident person, okay? I think that in the near past, I was maybe a little overly confident because I was compensating for the fact that, you know, I was like, maybe I'm unlovable. We can't let other people know that we think that. But now I would say I'm normal, right? I mean, I don't, I'm like a baseline level of confidence. I don't find it revolting to look into the mirror. But being bombarded with these physically blessed people every day, I do feel like it has slightly changed the standard for what is attractive. In the past before phones and TikTok and all these other social media platforms, uh, we only had models and movie stars to make us feel like we were ugly. Now we have millions of regular people being displayed to us who are just as attractive as these models and movie stars. It's just like, damn, you know? I mean, you know how TikTok has those ads where that guy pops up and he's like, Whoa there, you've been scrolling for a while. I feel like we need an ad that's also like, Whoa there, you've been comparing yourself to people online for way too long. Time to log out, babe. Whoa there! Whoa, what the hell? You've been scrolling for a while, bitch. <laughs> I noticed that seeing tons and tons of beautiful women on TikTok is slowly but surely depleting your serotonin, and now every time you look in the mirror, you're overanalyzing every single part of your face, and your reflection has become nothing but a cesspool of vile and heinous flaws. Great, yeah, thanks for pointing that out. So it's probably time for you to put that phone down, because your actively declining self-worth is ruining the vibe. I'm the only person in here. Why does the vibe matter? Well, I can tell you hate yourself if you don't mind just wallowing in this horrendous energy you've created. Excuse me? So let's stop looking at that gorgeous 5'11 racially ambiguous New York influencer, because let's face it, You'll never be her! Well, actually, I've been talking to this plastic surgeon, and he said Because that it is perfectly fine to be yourself. Okay. There is nothing wrong with being completely physically average and not special in any way, shape, or form. Gee, thanks! God, what the hell kind of ad is this? A brutal one. But, my apologies, uh, you can keep on scrolling, looking at baddie after baddie, and just keep feeling worse about yourself, I guess. Whatever. Or you can get on a different app that improves your self-esteem and personal growth. You are totally right, I could. Just like many other people, I've had issues with self-confidence and trying to achieve my best self. But Aura is a great resource to help me with those things. Aura is a new mindfulness and sleep app which won the Best of Apple Award and is used by over 7 million people. Aura is an all-in-one app with meditation, stories, CBT, life coaching, breath work, spirituality. There's loads of content created by hundreds of expert coaches and therapists around the world. So now you can stop constantly comparing yourself to other people on the internet, and instead you can personalize your Aura app so maybe you don't hate yourself as much. Seems like it would be, uh, you know, better for your general well-being. Yes. Thank you for that observation. Aura has a variety of resources for all different types of wellness goals. You know, the meditations and ASMR help me feel peaceful and get ready for bed, whereas the life coaching helps keep me on track to become the person that I want to be. Get started for completely free on Aura's website using my special link in the description. The first 500 people get a free trial plus exclusive 25% off, so make sure to get on it. Again, click the link to get started for free on Aura and be one of the first 500 people to get a free trial and exclusive 25% off. Well, I guess I should go, since, you know, I was supposed to be an ad. Yeah, well, I've never had an ad show up in my house before, so very interactive, thank you.
The other thing we see with TikTok and other social media apps are beauty filters. Now we have evolved from filters that give us puppy faces and flower crowns to nose jobs, jaw reconstruction surgery, and skin lightening, okay? It's like we're joining the K-pop industry. I don't personally use beauty filters that much uh, because they kind of make me feel bad about myself. I'm like, oh, so that's what I would look like with bigger eyes and a sharper nose and a not so square head. Didn't particularly need to know that. The emergence of beauty filters has given us a new means for comparison, okay? Not just comparing ourselves to other people, but comparing ourselves to a make-believe version of ourselves. It's like you're staring at yourself in a before and after way, but the after doesn't exist and you're just stuck with the before girl. Prior to social media and all these apps, you would just look in the mirror and be like, wow, I wish I was prettier. But now TikTok is like, don't, don't worry, worry Uggo, we, we have, have you covered. covered. Now it's like we all have plastic surgeons that are only available on iPhone. Now some people might be thinking, you know, girl, it's not that deep, it's just a filter. And like, I kind of get that. Like if you're gonna use filters, then use them. But at the end of the day, it kind of is that deep. Having access to this type of technology makes everybody feel like they're a step below where they could be. I mean, who knew that technology was gonna come this far and affect people's self-confidence this much, okay? I'm sure the person who invented the toaster wasn't like, oh, someday this is gonna evolve into something that makes people cry themselves to sleep at night. I mean, imagine going back in time and showing someone from like 80 years ago TikTok beauty filters, okay? They would probably implode. So you click a button on that rectangle and then someone brings a Chipotle bowl right to your door. It's Chipotle, but yeah, it's incredible, okay? I have not had to touch a spatula since I did that weird SpongeBob roleplay for a few thousand dollars. <laughs> Let me tell you, it wasn't worth it. I'm not quite sure what that means, but good to know. So, does your husband also use this device since you don't cook for him? Husband? <laughs> Girl, I'm not married. How old are you? I'm 24. So you're a spinster? I'm not a spinster, okay? I'm gay. As in, make the yuletide gay? Sure. Anyways, check this out. This is called TikTok, okay? It's like the biggest thing right now. Look, there's like filters and everything. Who is that woman staring at me? She looks like a hussy. That's you. That is not me. It is you. There's just a filter on. This can't be me. Her lips are so plump it looks like she's having an allergic reaction and her eyelashes are longer than the average child's lifespan in my day because we didn't have modern medicine. No, I mean, it's you, but the filter changes how you look, right? So, there. Click on all the different beauty options, okay? It'll make you look prettier. Oh god. Now I have blonde hair and blue eyes and a Voluptuous chest. Please don't say voluptuous chest. So this device can feed you and make ugly women like us beautiful? Okay, well, you don't have to say it like that. I don't like this machine. What the f***? Dude, chill. It's just a filter. You all use these devices to look at prettier versions of yourself? Well, what happens when you look in the mirror and you're stuck with your reflection, hmm? This is a poison to the mind. Okay, well, poison is a bit dramatic, okay? It's more like giving dairy to the mind when it's lactose intolerant. Another thing about TikTok is that we see these trends based on physical appearance that, at best, promote uh, insecurities, uh, and at worst, promote eating disorders. For example, a big trend that was going on was using the inverted filter to see how symmetrical or asymmetrical your face was. Or there's this other trend where people with perfect skin like rub their face and then wipe their hand on their shirt to be like, look, I'm not wearing any foundation, okay? I don't have blemishes like the rest of you bitches. Or there was a trend where people put on a filter that's like an ugly face or an ugly nose and then you take off the filter and it's supposed to make you feel better about yourself. And then you know the general trend of like body checking on the app uh, contributing to the whole idea of like thinspo and body goals. And you know for these hot people who are doing these trends and like want to show off how hot they are, there's nothing particularly wrong with showing off how hot you are, um, except for the filters one. The filters one I feel like is a bit rude. This is not me saying like, All hot people get off TikTok. Hot people don't show your bodies or your face. You know, that is not what I'm saying. Okay, listen, I post a thirst trap every once in a while. And I know that most of the time when hot people post a thirst trap or whatever, it's about them. You know, it's not, they're not posting it with the idea of let's put these uggos in their place. But we as a society need to remember that it is normal to have acne. 
okay? It's normal to have an asymmetrical face. It is normal to have a stomach. Wake up, sheeple! Okay? All these things are normal, and people should not have to feel bad about it. And even if people mean to be benign when they post these trends or thirst traps or whatever, you know, it still does have a negative impact on some people, which isn't necessarily the hot people's responsibility, but more just like society's responsibility to recognize like maybe we shouldn't place so much emphasis on how people look. I don't think that the physical appearance-based trends are going anywhere anytime soon, um, but hopefully they don't get worse. You know, honey, when I was your age, I had something called the renegade. <laughs> Ew, mom, I don't care about your war stories. I said renegade, not grenade, but whatever. Okay. The trends are totally different now. Have you ever heard of the go-go-uggo trend? What? No. Where is the uggo going? It's this trend where you use a filter that points out the ugliest part of your face and then you spin a dial on your phone screen and whatever plastic surgeon it lands on, that's who you need to go to to fix your busted face. What? That's terrible. And expensive, so you better have money saved up for me. That money is for college. Right, well, I'll have my people talk to your people. I am your people, I'm your mother. There's also a trend where an AI ranks your attractiveness on a scale of one to 10, and if you get below a seven, you have to put a bag over your head in all your videos for the remainder of the month. Who is making these trends? You guys were the originators, okay? We're just following in your footsteps. All right, you should know you're a retired thirst trap TikToker. Well, your generation of TikTokers is different, okay? Back in my day, when we wanted to make people feel ugly, we weren't so direct about it. We had some morals. Well, mom, whatever you did, it worked because it's 20 years later and we're still doing the same thing. And who knows how much longer we have on this earth to give people self-confidence issues, okay? Half of California is already underwater and so many of the hot people drowned in the LA flood. So it's like the ugly people ratio is climbing and we cannot let them have the power. I'm sorry, sweetie, but you're calling the ugly people them as if you're not the one with a bag in your hand right now. Mom, I'm just saying. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. And remember, I know that it's very easy to get sucked into social media and start comparing yourself to all these people that you see. But try to keep in mind that most people do not look like the individuals who benefit from the algorithm. In reality, they are just the lucky ones that get pushed to the forefront. It's okay to not look like a supermodel, okay? I don't know how this has become the standard when it is not reachable. With that being said, I hope you all enjoyed today's video and until next time. Well, your generation of TikTokers is different, okay? When we wanted to make people feel... feel <laughs>